The first online testimony is from Sister Mojisola Lawal from Canada. Herself and her husband have been believing God for the fruit of the womb, and they had attended several Holy Ghost services, trusting the Lord to answer them. In one particular Holy Ghost service, that the Geo prophesied that there will be deliveries of twins. They claim their, their portion, despite losing two pregnancies in the year 2023, this year, June 24, the Lord gave them a set of twins. The second online testimony tonight is from Pastor Alan and Pastor Mrs. Esther Udi, all the way from the Netherlands. They received an emergency call that their son fainted and was unconscious. After medical test, the doctors diagnosed that he had blood in his brain caused by a burst blood vessel. He was scheduled for an emergency surgery. The, the medical team gave scary, unlike scary report of the fact that after the, he will likely be paralyzed and his speech will no longer be normal. But before the surgery, they laid the handkerchief that was sprayed on by the GO during Eurocon in April on him, and they requested that the, the anointed handkerchief be left on him in the course of the surgery. And throughout the surgery, to the surprise of the doctors, what kept what usually keep their patients in the hospital for six months their son only spent two weeks and right now is old and healthy the next is from sister adeniji ayomide oluwashin from nigeria she first sick in 2023 and experienced a mental disorder she lost her memory also. Her mother brought her to the Redemption City of God during the 2023 convention with the theme, Perfect Jubilee. God restored our memory. God has healed her completely. Subsequently, she has graduated from the university. Glory be to God. The next is from Sister Oluwa Fumilola Owolabi from Nigeria. She attended the 2020, 2023 convention, trusting God to settle her maritally. During the Holy Ghost night, on a night like this of the convention, the Lord spoke through our Father and the Lord that there is someone here against all odds. When you are coming for the next convention, you are coming with your husband. She said, Amen. To the glory of God, she's here at this year 2024 convention with her husband. The next is from Sister Adenike Oguto Ibo from Nigeria. Why on our way to the convention last year from Port Harcourt, she was involved in an accident that crushed her right hand and she was moved from one hospital to another in Benin within and the six hospitals rejected her but by the mercies of God the seventh hospital accepted her to carry out the surgery on her and even though she had lost a lot of blood the Lord preserved her She's returning all the glory to God for God's merciful kindness upon her. Glory be to the name of the Lord. The next is, Pastor, is from Pastor Mrs. Oluwafumilayo from the United Kingdom. During the 2023, 2023 convention, at the Thanksgiving service, 
Daddy Gio said, we should pray and ask God for anything. She prayed to God to bless her son and his wife with a set of triplets. And God answered after seven years of waiting. The next is from Brother Adelowo Olaleka Enoch from Nigeria. In year 2023, before the convention, He, he, he experienced a pain in his head and started hearing strange voices telling him to remove his clothes, shout, and run. He came for the Congress determined to receive his deliverance. During the healing service of the Congress, he prayed with all his strength and God granted answer to his prayer. All the pains are gone, strange noises disappeared. The next is from Assistant Pastor Davo, Daniel Davo, from Nigeria. For about 10 years, he has been unable to read without using glasses. But during the ordination service of the convention 2024, this convention that we are in with the theme heaven, as he was anointed as an assistant pastor, as the oil was poured on his head, he received his healing. Right now, he can see very well and is already reading without the aid of glasses. The next is from Brother Ezemoye and the Mrs. Chinyere Chibo from Nigeria. The wife had a surgery in 2022 and developed complications. Her intestine started leaking. She was taken to the theater four times within a month, but the leakage continued. She was also placed on oxygen for over three months. They wrote a letter Request, requesting Daddy Gio to pray, asking for prayers from Daddy Gio. Daddy sent a response via the SMS that he is expecting their testimony to the glory of God. She's been discharged perfectly whole. Glory be to the name of the Lord. From the online testifiers tonight, we have one more from brother and sister, brother and sister Valentine Wuraola Ajobo. They got married in September 2018. Between September 2018 and 2019 September, she had had two miscarriages. So, at the September Holy Ghost service in 2019, she she, she attended and bought baby shoes as a point of contact, trusting God for her own child. She became pregnant the next month, but in 2020, during COVID, she lost the, the, the pregnancy at six months. Thereafter, four months after, she took in again, and when it was eight months, the baby was delivered, and uh, they were, the baby did, had complication, but they told them, the, the medical doctors told them it was 50-50 chance because eight months was a risky stage. And she said to the doctor that this baby was going to be okay. And lo and behold, the baby came out perfect. Few weeks after she gave birth, they noticed that the baby was not eating well. And uh, it was later discovered that she, the baby had multiple holes in her heart. So feeding was a challenge. When she was fed, the food was coming out from the nose. She, they brought the baby to the redemption city of God. They removed the socks on her legs, placed her legs on the, on the, on the soil here in the redemption city, and they told God that they would not be angry with God 
if God decided to take her away from them, but if God was going to give her to them, that God should heal her. After that encounter of removing the socks and placing her feet on the soil here on the ground of the redemption city of God, they cannot explain how the Lord supernaturally healed her. The baby is named Heaven. Not only that, she now has a younger sister. Glory, glory be to the name of the Lord. Now it's time for the live testifiers tonight. Glory be to God. Hello, my name is Dustin Black. Um, I'm so very happy to be here. Uh, I was here um, for, uh, and nobody knew um, my wife and I got married in 2015, and uh, we had been trying to build our family for a long time. Uh, and after months and months of appointments, uh, tests, scans, we sat across from the doctor, and I said, just tell me like it is. Don't round off the edges, just give it to me straight. And he said, for you to conceive naturally, it is impossible. And then a few months later, we were here uh, to minister. Uh, songs of Victory, a, con uh, a Congress in 2017. And Daddy Gio preached a message about surrender. And we were given these hankies, this hanky here I was given in 2017. And he said, use this as an instrument of prayer. Use this as a symbol of surrender. And think about the impossible things in your life. And we're going to shout and you're going to give those to God tonight. And we, we shouted and I raised my hanky. And I remembered what that doctor said. And I came home and I told my wife what I had seen. I tried to explain what I had seen here, which is inexplainable. And our faith grew together and we would pray. Every single night for six months, we would pray. And I would take this hanky out and I would place it on her belly. And we would pray, your will be done. Give us peace, give us understanding, your will be done. You know our desires. One day we are out to eat and my wife wasn't feeling well and I have no filter. So this thought popped into my mind and it was straight out of my mouth. And I said, maybe you're pregnant. And she gave me that look that only wives can give husbands, you know, no words needed. And she said, okay. So she sent me to the pharmacy. Before we ever ate our food, I was away to the pharmacy to buy a test. Before we ever got our food, she was away into the toilet to take the test. And she came out and she said, it's positive. And I said, what? She said, it's positive. And I said, okay, okay, maybe it's broken. So we bought four more on the way home. And my son is five years old now. My son, Dustin, is five years old. But we held on to this miracle and we gave all glory to God and we told absolutely everybody. But how many times have we heard that he fills our cup, that it overflows? That it's not just full, it overflows exceedingly, abundantly above all that we ask or think. And that's where we are, because my daughter was born in 2022. This is the God that we serve. This is what he has done in my life. He has more miracles for me. He has more miracles for my family. He has miracles for my kids. He has miracles for all of us. He never runs out of time. He never runs out of power. He never runs out of miracles. And we give him all glory and praise tonight. All glory and praise to him. So, so thankful for this place, for this church. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Mrs. Caro Hejo. I'm from Delta. Last year, August, I came with my friend. My friend invited me. He said, I should come. He said, when you step your feet here, whatever challenge you are passing through, he said, that thing will come to an end. And I wasn't feeling fine. After we prayed, the man of God ministered to the mantle, the anointing hoyer, and the hanky that I bought. I took them back home. When I get home, a voice ministered to me. He says, set up an hotter in your home. I set up an hotter in my home. Every morning, every night, I go to that hotter, naked, dancing to God. I'll just dance and dance and dance. But it looks as if the symptom is still there. The voice told me, say, go to the, go to the hospital. 
go for shake up. When I went there, they diagnosed that one of my liver is swollen. I said, what? What will I do? He said, keep on dancing for me. Don't stop. I went to the altar. I keep on dancing and dancing and dancing. I danced to a stage. It come to a time. Those symptoms I'm feeling is no longer there. When he, when, he, when, when he was coming to this year, August, the voice said, go back to that place and do this test again. When they run the test, behold, they say your liver is normal. Everything is okay. It can only be God. It can only be God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Dickness Hawele Hiwendi. I am from Lagos Province 67. I'm thanking God for the salvation of my soul. I'm thanking God with a testimony that has a code 717. So on June 7th, on my way from the camp at the Lagos Ibadan Express, where I was involved in a ghastly motor accident, I thank God because I'm alive, nobody died, nothing, we are all fine. Secondly, June 17th, I was going to walk. We had something to do at work, so I was going and I took a cab from around the Link Bridge in Lagos and I got to where I was supposed to highlight and the, the cab driver pretended like I was going to stop. But apparently, before I knew it, he zoomed off in a very high speed. And the next thing they said, they wanted to poke out my eye and the next thing they said, they wanted to cut, they would cut my breast. And I shouted, Jesus! I shouted, God of Adeboye! And they tried to put the knife in my eyes. The knife didn't penetrate. They tried to cut my breast. The breast could not cut. But the, the, but the knife cut only the bra. They tried all their charms. It did not work. After they tried all they could, but to no avail, they threw me out of their car on Todd Bella Bridge. Who did it? Jesus! My name is Pastor Charles F. A. Sylvester from Inspiration House, London, and the throne room, Abuja. I thank God for the salvation of my soul, and I thank God for saving my life. A few months ago, I met Daddy Gio, who prayed for me because I had challenges in my place of work. Apparently, the commissioner that was appointed before me died in his sleep. In June, when I went to London on holiday, suddenly uh, Pastor Mike from RCCG Belgium called me that the Lord had revealed to him that we should have a fasting and prayer that Wednesday. We fasted and prayed that Wednesday. In the early morning of that same Thursday, around four o'clock, I woke up with my heart beating very fast. I couldn't breathe when I woke up and I was fainting. I told my wife to call the ambulance. And I said to the Holy Spirit, I'm a pastor. Is this house gonna die? And the Holy Spirit said, no. And I said, please, God of Pastor Adeboye, Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah El Adeboye, Jehovah El Adeboye, Jehovah El Adeboye, come and help me. And suddenly I started speaking in tongues. And my heart slowed down slow down and suddenly it was normal but not quite three minutes after the heart that was beating very fast started to reverse and beat very slow and i was losing oxygen and the holy spirit said call pastor Kola bamibadi of uh, rccg inspiration house london i called pastor Kola bamibadi who was praying in english but then the equipment for my oxygen and for my heart rate started to go down and started to beep emergency, emergency. Pastor Kola immediately switched to praying in tongues. And as he was praying in tongues, and I was calling on God, Jehovah the Almighty, suddenly the Holy Spirit turned up. He turned up and suddenly I began to recover, recover from a situation where the heart rate was zero. The oxygen level was zero. I was technically dead and God revived me. 
and brought me back to life. And when, and when the medics came, the medics from Kent in the United Kingdom, they said, Charles, you are not supposed to be alive. And they say, how did you do this? I say, it's a miracle. Jehovah El Adeboye. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. Thank you. My name is Pastor Mrs. Yetunde Akintelo of Lagos Province 44. And I work in the Junior Church of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I'm here to testify that wherever you may be working, the Lord will locate you. On the 13th of April, 2023, I had cause to visit an orthopedic hospital because I discovered I was walking in pain. Every step I took was in crucial pain. And when I got there, the doctor looked at the x-ray, showed it to his friend, and the friend said, ha, Madam, where are your children? Uh -uh. What kind of question is that one? The next thing he said, Ma, your two legs have gone to be with the Lord. And I said, oh, I am here. My legs are in heaven. How can that be? My legs are needed here because I walk with children. I must run around. I said, God, return my legs. Though. When I'm coming home, I will come with my legs. I went home devastated, but I was still popping myself up. On the 13th of July, 2023, it was Mommy Gio's birthday. I had become, you know, quiet. Normally, I'm a lively person, but I was now sitting at home out of shame because I had to clad my two legs and walk with a walking stick if I have to go out. So I was no longer going out. And as I was sitting there, they were doing Mommy Joe's birthday. I was watching on the, I wasn't watching on the television. The television was just on. Holy Spirit said, can you not tap into that anointing? And I placed my hand on the television. and said, you God of Mama Adeboye, she's celebrating birthday. She can give people gifts. The only gift I want now is that my two legs be returned. And I slept off. By the time I woke up, I dreamt that daddy and mommy came into my house. And while I was trying, there were a lot of people there. While I was trying to rush that they would minister to me, I had to... I had to shout. And somebody said, there is protocol. I said, protocol must be broken for me. And I said, I will shout because I must give my testimony. And from that day, that's the only thing I've been shouting. I had the opportunity of being ministered to my daddy in the last convention. I came here with my walking stick, with my clothes on my legs. But by the time I was leaving the recession camp, I never saw that walking stick again. Who did it? Jesus! Oh my God! Wow! God bless you. Okay. We are Pastor and Assistant Pastor Olumide Olayinka David from Area 30, Lagos Province 44. We got married in November year 2000, and for 22 years we were trusting God for the fruit of the womb. We were going from hospital to hospital and several things happened. But in 2022, we had different testimonies of people that visited the Open Heaven House and we decided to go there too. So on the 1st of October 2022, we visited the Open Heaven House and we prayed. We told God everything that we wanted. Before then, we had told God that since we waited this long, that God should bless us with a set of twins, a boy and a girl. 
And about 15 years ago, God actually gave us the names of these children, but they were not coming forth. So in November, in October 2022, when we visited the Open Heaven House, when I got to Mommy Gio's room, I knelt down and I prayed that the same God that made Mommy Gio fruitful should make me fruitful. And to the glory of God, towards the end of 2023, we decided to go for another IVF session. And to the glory of God, it was successful. On the, on the 8th of December, while the Holy Ghost Congress of the, the Holy Ghost service of the Holy Ghost Congress was going on, I was in the theater at Lassus delivering my set of twins, a boy and a girl, just like we asked God. This evening we have come to fulfill our vow to God and to present them before the Lord. Our girl is Deborah Ileri Oluwa Kiye Olainka David and the boy is David Ola Oluwa Kiton Olainka David. To God alone be the glory. Praise the Lord. My name is Diki Sheyajai. My wife is Dikines Fumilola Jai from Osu Province 3. Messi make us soon. Messi sit soon. We got married in September 8, 2007. Four years after our wedding, 2011 to be precise, God gave us this beautiful damsel. So, since then, we'll be looking unto God for the fruit of the womb. In April last year, my wife conceived. So, three months after the conception, three months after the conception, she was seeing blood. So, she had the flow for three days. On the third day, she had a dream. In that dream, she saw that the geo attending to people after a church program. So Daddy Gio asked for what she needed. She said, a set of twins. And Daddy Gio said, it is well. Lo and behold, when she woke up, the flow, the blood stopped. So after that, we, we keep praying to God. Last conversion we are here. Lo and behold, on 12th of January, this year, God gave us two beautiful children, a set of twins. Efsiba, Anusha Yiton, Ulda, Anufibiyo. So we have come to return all glory to God Almighty for changing our name, for giving us a new name. May all glory and honor be given to God forever. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, our names are AP Olanrewaju and AP Uluwasheu Hakinoye. We are here tonight to bless the name of the Lord for his faithfulness over our lives. We got married specifically in November 2011 and we were trusting God for the fruit of the womb. But just about a month into our marriage, uh, we were worshiping God as a family, and God specifically spoke to us, gave us the names of our children. So we're very hopeful and just thanking God. But we waited. In the process of waiting, um, God delivered me of very severe migraine. Uh, in 2019, we had our first IVF, which failed. 2022, we had unsuccessful two adoptions. Uh, 2023, I had to take a surgery somewhere in the spinal cord, uh, Dix 4, 
and the surgery was successful, but I didn't wake up after the surgery. From what I was told, I was already swelling up and probably passed on. But we called on God, my wife, with other ministers, uh, pastors, called upon the name of the Lord, and God restored me back to life after about five, six hours of passing on. Uh, as if that was not enough, God said, this is your year. Uh, while the prayer was ongoing and I was on, lying down on the bed, one of the pastors in the room who was the doctor attending to us asked my wife, are your children? And she said, we are still expectant. And she said, this is your year. Uh, that led us to the second IVF we had in 2023. Precisely June 10th, 2023, for the first time in over 12 years of our marriage, my wife had a positive pregnancy test. And by the special grace of God, throughout the pregnancy, all the moments we had to go for antenatal, all the tests were positive, I mean good, we never had any negative uh, test results. And we give God the glory. On the 24th of February 2024, God blessed us with this bundle of joy. Inyolua, Akinroba, David, Akinoye. And we called upon God upon this altar because each time we came here attending Shiloh, attending Divine Encounter, went to Open Heaven House, we told God, if you can answer us, we'll come here to return the glory. And here we have tonight to return the glory to the Most High God. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Ahmed Oluwatosi. I'm from Provi 16, Region 77. I thank God because I've been looking, I've been expecting the fruit of the womb for the past 13 years. And I came to beyond expectation last year. So when I was here, I met my church member here, and one of them has a twin set. So daddy now has them to bring their children, to the uh, parents to bring their children out for prayer. So one of our Mommy in the church said that I should carry one of the two twins out to come and pray. And if I pray for the child, I should also pray for myself. So when I came out, I prayed for the baby and I lie down flat on the floor. I said, God, whatever things that is in my body that is causing delay, Father, throw them out in Jesus' name. To the glory of God, when I stand up, I, I have every sneeze. To the extent that everywhere in my place was filled, full with fruits. I said, ah, oh good shell, thank you, Lord. Oh. So when I go back to my seat, Daddy now says, there's someone here. God said that I should tell you that you will have your home. You will be pregnant this month, this month. Ah, I said, yes, that is me. I said, wow. And to the glory of God, God did it that very month. That very month. And it's not only twins that he gave me, he missed it with me. One boy and one girl. I told God that I will bring, if it is one, I will bring him, come here. But when it is two, I really appreciate God. God of the boy, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Who did this? Jesus. Oh, my God. Wow. Praise the Lord. Our names are Dikin and Dickness Namdi Eze. Region 10, Abuja, FCT 15. We are here to give God the glory after 17 years of marriage. It's happened that at a time we have to go for IVF and it failed twice. The first one fell, the doctor advised us, encouraged us that we should go for the second one, which we did, and it fell. But it happened that last year, May, Daddy Gio came to Abuja a day out with God of Daddy Gio. I was one of the ushers that was shitting, that was shitted in the program. So it happened that one of our mommy, 
we have been together for years, but she never knew that I've stayed so long for 17 years, not having any child. Mommy Abba Jide, she starts to write a letter so that she can hand it over to Daddy Jill. And I wrote the letter and gave to her. On that day, she gave the letter to Daddy Jill and told me that she had handed over the letter to Daddy Jill, that they would call me up. And I waited throughout the May 2023. Nothing, I didn't get any call. But on that fateful day, 1st of May, uh, 1st of June, 2023, on my bed, after I finished my prayer, my wife just stepped out to prepare something in the kitchen. So I was still on the bed, having my rest. I got a text. When I got the text, I read it. When I read it, it's just like a film. But I said, let me see. I read it again. It was the voice of Daddy Joe telling me that he had found out my labor in the vineyard of God, that God will visit me this month. He said, hallelujah. And I shouted. I said, okay, let me hold myself. I died the number, died it through a uh, true color, and it showed G-O Adeboye. And I screamed. I called my wife. I said, darling, come and see. And she rushed into the room. And we read it together and prayed and thanked God. That June, last year, 2023, my wife conceived for the first time in the history in our marriage. She conceived in June, and this wonderful boy, baby Solomon, the light of God, Chimere, was born on the 17th day of February this year. So we give glory to God. God is a prayer answering God. So we are here to return all the glory unto the God of Adeboye. We thank God and let his name be praised in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. My name is Dukunes Faith Tombabs from Rivers Province 6, Region 5. I have come to give God the praise for the salvation of my soul and to redeem my vow. In 2003, I got admission to the university as a young girl to study a course of five years. Sadly, after five years, instead of graduating, I dropped out of the university. I was suicidal. I couldn't believe it because I didn't know why. I couldn't continue the university. Few years later, I got some other courses to do, not a university course. And then I got married. After marriage, my husband said, you need to go back to the university. I didn't feel like it because I was still depressed. But I summoned courage and he encouraged me. I went back to the university and it was as if affliction was coming back again. A course that was to take me just four years. Took me extra years. At the end of the day, I took 20 years to get my BSc. It was not going to happen, but for the God of a new wave of glory, in 2021, I came to this altar with my husband, the 69th annual convention, and we joined faith and we told the Lord, if the Lord will cause this new wave of glory to change my story to glory, I will come back to testify. Today, brethren, I've come to return the glory to God because just a year after I got my BSc, my story has been changed to glory. My life has become a message to several other persons. The Lord's name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I may be Elena Deniyi of Lagos Province 58, Ikorodu, Lagos. I'm here to testify to the goodness of God in my life. About five years ago, I've been having an issue with one of my breasts. As at last year, I went to the hospital. I was asked to do an MRI, MRI test, and it came that I have breast cancer. I took the result to the directorate of prayer here. I spent the whole day telling God, I want you to reverse this result. From there, I came into the uh, minister conference with the result and also the last year convention. 
A day after the convention, I was booked for a surgery. And after the surgery, the, 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 the specimen was taken for a serological test. And behold me, it came negative. God Almighty has healed me. Heal me of breast cancer that killed my mother at a tender age. And also, I want to, I want to bless the name of God. I've worked with Lagos State for 35 years, and I've been telling God, God, grant me the grace to retire peacefully. And God did it last Friday. I clocked 60 that some of my siblings was unable to do. To the glory of God, I'm 60 years old. I've served, God, I've served Lagos State meritorially for 35 years. I retired last Friday peacefully without blemish. I'm here to return all glory, all honor to God of Daddy Gio. To God of Redeemed Christian Church of God, who has done it for me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is A.P. Abbas Deshawale. I've been trusted God for to set to marriage Sally for a long time. And I've been praying, trusting God for a divine intervention. I wrote a letter to Daddy twice. He replied me and told me to remain faithful. I keep on serving the Lord, trusting him that a day will come, he will remember me. So last year, March, Mommy and the boy prayed. From my heart, you know, with the burden in the heart, she prayed for all the matured singles. That the Lord should remember them. And I held on to those prayers. And as I was going home, I told Lord that, Lord, my boy has prayed for us, all our daughters that wait on the Lord for a partner. All our prayer in our lives. And as I was going, I just said the voice said distraction. I said, What mean of distraction? But we are talking about. I said, Well, I know God has done something. They want to counterfeit whatever. I said, They will not make it in Jesus' name. Before the end of that day, some people planned to match me. And Lord reminded me distraction. And I said, They should allow me to go and pray. And God says that it was not God's plans for me. So I continued praying. When I got 55, I said, Lord, okay, let me just go to serve you. At least let me surrender everything to you. So by August convention, I was ordained as a stamp pastor. And I told Lord that, just have your way in my life. Let this anointing destroy this yoke. Enough is enough. So I made up my mind. I came to the country at the convention. I was there. So on Friday, last year convention, 2023, as that was coming up, I went to him and said, Lord, let's settle this matter once and for all. And then he just spoke and said, there's somebody here. The Lord said, your time has come. I held to that word and I jumped and said, God, thank you. Immediately after a few minutes, he said again, so somebody is there, you are coming to the husband to the annual convention 2024. I heard it again. I said, thank you, Jesus. So a week after the convention, the Lord intervened in his own glorious way, connected me to my husband, and December 23rd, 2023, I got married. And today, the God of God Almighty, God, I did it, I'm here with my husband. At 56, the Lord remember me. I pray that every single that are here tonight, the Lord will remember you in the name of Jesus. Keep serving God, keep trusting him. He's ever faithful God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Esther Olashupo with my husband, Dickie Koinde Olashupo. We got married in year 2011 and we have been waiting upon the Lord. We went to the hospital and I did test. I said, I have soup fallopia. My soup has blocked and I'm not ovulating anymore. I cried to my my PP, Lagos Prophet 50, Pastor John Omotayo, Ajiboye, and he said to me, Esther, before I leave this province, I will carry your baby. I hold on to that word. In year 2023, divine the cancer, special divine the cancer, three days special divine the cancer. That the Geo pray for every part of our body, and he asks us if we needed a brand new body parts, we should tell God now and ask for big things from God. And I told God to 
give me a brand new womb and a brand new body part. And I told God, I've waited for too long. I don't want a one baby anymore. I want triplets. Please give me triplets. If you can do it for me, I'll come to this altar and give glory to your name. That, that same February, I got pregnant. That same February, after special three days divine encounter, I got pregnant. When I started going for Asinata, doctor checked my record. He saw that I am acid genotype because I always have crisis, rheumatism crisis. And he shouted, you are SC and carry multiple babies in your womb. And I told doctor, it's God of boy that put them there and he will see me through. Throughout the pregnancy, no sickness, no vomiting, no spitting of any, nothing. I am just eating, eating, sleeping. But when it's seven months, devil wants to strike. I have crisis of rheumatism, very serious. And I call my pastor, Pastor Masai Wajibohe, and he told me, Esther, God of Adeboye is with you because I am praying for you. Nothing will happen to you. The pain was so much that doctor said they cannot give me strong drug because of my babies. He prayed for me and I slept off. I was rolling, restless, crying because of the pain. And the baby are kicking too. I slept off and before I woke up, the pain was gone. Second week, I gave birth to these babies without any complication. Nothing whatsoever. God did it for me. He gave me Enoch. He gave me Enoch. Miracle, Washington, Olashupo, Elisha, Elisha, Keshitin, Science, Olashupo. He gave me Elijah, Wonders, Wellington, Olashupo. I return all the glory back to Jesus. Who oh, did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Praise the Lord. My name, I'm Bobby Asun by name. I'm here with my family. Uh, we want to thank God for blessing us. We've been married for seven years now. For six years, we prayed to God for children. Uh, I can tell you, brethren, for, the, for five years and the six years, every month my wife cried. Uh, it got to a point in my local assembly, um, LP 14, Region 2, where a pastor, Pastor Lumide, came and said, if you need the fruits of the womb, come outside. Lo and behold, the whole church was looking at me. I came out, I knelt down, I tell you, brethren, I cried. And he said he sees children around me. So we opted for IVF for the first time. My wife called me and said, honey, huh, something has happened though, but I will tell you why. I think you will know why I had to pray more, be more focused with God, join the workers, you know, and as God we have it, on the 25th of April, 2023, God gave us four wonderful, amazing angels. The Lord who has done this may his name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. And as I did in my local assembly, I just want you to join me to say four hallelujah for the four girls. Praise the Lord. Praise this Jesus. Let someone shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. Some years ago, a single young mother came into our ministry. 
and she came and brought her son with her. The young man was just five years old and he was growing up in the church. But as he was getting older, the lure of the streets pulled him out of the church and he became what you would call here one of the area boys involved in the drug life. One night something went wrong in the midst of a transaction. He turned to get away and they opened fire on him. They shot him. The bullet went through his back. It ripped his lung and came out of his chest. He lost so much blood until when he was in the hospital while they were trying to help him to live, he died on the table. The doctors told the mother and the grandmother there is no need to try anymore. He's already dead. When they gave me the word, I got in touch with our daddy and I told him what was going on. The word that came back is that the son of a lion is still a lion. You have the ability to say something. I told his grandmother and his mother that he could not die because God had not told me he was going to die. Simultaneously, a doctor that was in the hospital decided we're going to give it one more chance. After being declared dead on the um, operating table, he is still standing here before us today. This young man is also the same young man who had two daughters and his wife was pregnant with another child. He has a trucking business and he had named the business Reggie and Son, but he had no son. His wife already was told that she had a baby in her womb that was also a girl. One week before they were going to take the child, he came to a service where I was. I told him the testimony of what daddy said, how God had the ability to change the sex of the baby while in the mother's womb. In less than one week, the baby that was a baby girl for eight months and three weeks became a baby boy. And I wanted him to come so you could see two miracles in one. One, that God can resurrect the dead, and two, God can change the sex from a baby girl to a baby boy. Who did it? Jesus! Oh my God! Wow! To our great God, the God of wonders, the God of all possibilities, just wave to him, clap your hand, shout thank you Jesus, shout glory to the Lord, just appreciate him. There is more we need our God. Magnify him. Lord, we worship you. Jehovah, we honor you. Thank you Jesus. Shout it, thank you Jesus. Lord, we bless your name. We honor you. We adore you. Be thou exalted forever. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, the God of wonders. Thank you, God of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed be your name. Glory, 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 glory. Can we lift our two hands to the Lord and shout? Thank you, Jesus. One more time. Thank you, Jesus. One more time. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we appreciate you, we magnify you, and we exalt you. Continue with your wonders to perform. Be glorified forever. Let your heavens be opened like never before. In Jesus' name, amen.